Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Happy Monday to you. We are going to get your week kicked off by going over uh, what you need to know in terms of keeping pace for the fragments uh, in the Walking Tomb Drag Fragment events. And we have also got a bonus legendary summoning event coming up. I'll go over that in full detail and just walk you through the plan and the rotation of all the events so that you can plan your week ahead accordingly. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, to kick off the video, I want to talk about the uh, summoning event that is going to be launching tomorrow revolving around Ancient Shards. Now, this is going to be a bonus legendary event. It's kind of like a pseudo 2x, but uh, it, it takes the epics out of the equation. So uh, your shards are going to be the normal summoning rate, but you are going to get a bonus legendary like you see over on the right. I can pull out my pen here. Uh, so when you summon a legendary right here with the normal summoning rates, it's going to go ahead and give you another legendary that is guaranteed to not be a dupe of this first legendary. So you're guaranteed to get two different legendaries if you pull one legendary uh, on unbuffed normal ancient shard rates. But the bonus legendary that you get, uh, well, I've, either legendary you get, it can be a duplicate of a champion you already have. Sometimes people get confused uh, when they hear that the bonus legendary can't be a duplicate. It can be a duplicate of a legendary you already have on your account, but it will not be a duplicate of this one right here. So you won't get like two Prince Kaimars. That's not going to happen. You would get like a Prince Kaimar right here. And then over here, you would get like a Candrophon or something. You're not going to get two of the same legendary is all that means, but it can be one that you already have on your account. And that event is going to be launching tomorrow. Now, the thing with these events, um, it, they're probably not good for early or mid-game accounts where you still need a lot of those really good epics that you're looking for, Rector Droth, and, and all these sorts of epics you're going to want, Allure, Doom Priest, to fill out your Faction Wars rosters. You're going to want to wait for 2x events for sure to pull your Ancient Shards. You get that uh, every six weeks, and we actually have one coming up soon. The rotation goes in alphabetical order, Ancient, Sacred, Void. We just had 2x Voids wrapping up this weekend, which means you should get 2x Ancient Shards in about 10 days or so. So uh, definitely do not pull during this event if you are still needing a lot of those epics in the game to fill out your rosters but uh, if you're an end game player and you're decently close to mercy this is actually the perfect time to pull your ancient shards if you're like 20 30 uh, ancient shards away from mercy boom you pop one real quick on your mercy drop and then you get a bonus two for one on the legendaries and you're not really worried about the double buff to the epic rates anyway so that's going to be the scenario that it makes the most sense for most of you out there though it probably is going to be the right move to wait until the 2x ancient event coming up soon here in about 10 or 11 days and then, obviously, we have got the Fragment event for a Walking Tomb Dren going on. And you can see at the start of the day here on Monday, I am sitting at 35 Fragments. If you were looking for someone to compare to, uh, I did end up going for the ones this weekend. I streamed it yesterday before our, uh, our Sunday podcast show. And I did go for these 15 Fragments right here. I ended up pulling something like, I, I don't know, 20-something uh, Void Shards. Got a few Epics to get some points. And then I had some uh, some Epic Champions sitting in my Fragment section right here. Which, by the way, that's why we always recommend to hold on to Champions uh, for a little bit that you don't need right away. You can wait and save the Legendaries during a CVC to get a bunch of points. Or you can wait and save the Epics until a situation like this and get a few extra points to progress. Uh, which helped me a lot in getting these 15. And uh, just doing those couple things got me within a couple hundred of uh, of what I needed and then I just went ahead and pulled a couple hundred uh, mystery shards and topped it off to get those 15 points which means now I can probably skip most of the summon rush I'll get some of the fragments from it but I won't have to go crazy because you can see here we got uh, extra fragments available we just got to kind of do one and, and these two summon uh, the, these two events that revolve around the shards are typically the, the, the tougher ones to get but if you manage everything effectively you can set yourself up in a way where you only have to focus on one sorry if i'm getting a little bit confusing uh here but th the gist is you're gonna have to focus on one either the champion chase or the summon rush i chose to go with the champion chase during 2x uh voids and uh because i could use some of those fragment champions i had sitting around that count towards the champion chase but they do not count uh during the summon rush and let me clear that, which means right now we are here on Monday, July 11th, 
And we are going to be heading into an Ice Golem tournament uh, that is going to be double dipping with the end of Dungeon Divers. So uh, for the next little bit here in game, like today and stuff, you're going to want to do the Ice Golem and, and really make sure you finish up that Dungeon Divers because that is going to be the next event ending. And it was a decent amount of points to get uh, to the one on the second row. I'll show you in game here in a second. And then make sure you're getting your champion training ready. Hopefully you summon some stuff uh, during the two X voids that went on that you're uh, looking forward to building. And uh, you should be a pretty standard week here uh everything mostly par for the course until we head into the summon rush right here which should be some sort of 10x or guaranteed event because we just had a 2x event and typically we see it alternating between 2x 10x 2x 10x and we will probably know on the back end here as content creators in the program, uh, probably like Wednesday or Thursday morning, we'll get some sort of wind on what the guaranteed champion is going to be or what the 10X is going to be. And then I'll get a video out to you as soon as I can laying out uh, whether it's worth it uh, to pull or not and how to plan your points accordingly in relation to the summon rush that we have coming up to keep pace on the fragments. And if you want to see this laid out in game, this is what I was talking about. The Ice Golem tournament just went live today. You're going to need 2250 for points on the right side. But uh, the Dungeon Divers event is going to be ending before that. You can see only 16 hours left as of me recording this. So this is the focus. You've got to make sure to get to 2850. And you might as well double dip with the Ice Golem in order to do so. Because other than that, you've got a little bit extra time left on the Artifact Enhancement event. But you also probably want to do a little bit of that today just to keep pace. You can see there I barely we finished mine and kind of stopped and then under the tournaments tab it should all be pretty par for the course you just want to make sure you are doing the ice golem and then also you'll have tag team arena tournament launching tomorrow but you can tell by the artwork uh and thankfully uh they never make tag team arena uh tournaments uh, and stuff going on in game as part of things like the fragment summon because uh, uh which is good because the tag team arena content is very gated and people would definitely be very frustrated about that so don't worry the Tag Arena Tournament is not going to be part of the Fragment Summit event. Other than all of that stuff going on, it's mostly a normal launch Monday. You're going to want to make sure you get your Classic Arena tier in order before you run things like your Clan Boss and stuff like that. Uh, you are going to have a CVC coming up on Tuesday here in eight days. So you want to make sure and get your Tag Team Arena tier in order. Uh, maybe for a few days here, set one-person defenses so that everyone can farm up together early in the week. Here you go. That's a real MVP. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, just get all your normal stuff in order. Make sure you are ready to spend your Hydra keys like today, tomorrow, and stuff before that resets. And now we can go ahead and dive in, see if there's any offers worth going over. And it looks like we're gonna at least have a couple uh, worth plugging in for you. I know a few of you have been saying down in the comments uh, asking why I don't do uh, the offers in some videos. So the, the way that works, if I'm doing a, like a daily wrap-up in-game planning video, I'll always at least check the shop typically. But if I'm doing like a guide, like, uh, like, like a champion guide or something, the offers aren't relevant to that guide. It's not like your daily management uh, type content. So I don't do it in those type of videos, but I will do it in a video like this. So if you ever wonder why in some videos, I break down the offers and some I don't that would be the reason and also uh, kind of a behind the scenes type of thing my good friend smiley does an amazing job on some of the offer stuff in his discord server and, and, and really keeping track of the different uh, progress packs and, and everything going on so uh, I'm gonna be trying to work on a calculator 2.0 as like a collab with him where we can uh, touch base together and, and use both of our heads collectively uh, to put together some sort of uh, offer I'm bumping my mic here put together some sort of offer sheet like this one uh, and maybe get like an updated one for the website or something like that but okay so for this one we've got 750k and then we're gonna go with the energy of 300 um 200 gems two days of xp this one's gonna be pretty all right um five there and three legendary tomes of boom so yeah 2.15 yep just all right uh you can tell from the purchase limit of two it's probably going to be somewhere in between two and uh 2.25 or so so nothing amazing but for high spenders it would be a decent one uh this one here usually i've plugged this one in a bunch of times um it ends up being if the multi battles are worth two dollars to you then it's a decent offer because the energy uh, that you're getting is worth about seven bucks, typically seven or eight dollars uh, in terms of what you would want to spend in game compared to the other offers. So ask yourself if 150 multi battles are worth two dollars. If so, this one's not bad. Uh, the monthly pack grades out as about a 2.5. It's OK. Um, and then the different stuff here, the faction accessories, definitely a no on that one. 
So all righty, that will do it for me on this one. And if you're going to be pulling Ancient Shards tomorrow for the bonus legendary event, good luck. And don't forget to subscribe on the way out. We'll have lots of content coming up this week to keep you in the loop on Raid Shadow Legends and probably uh, getting an in-depth champion guide for the uh, the Fragment Champion as well, just to uh, get the infographic and get all the resources out there as much as possible for the people that are going to be acquiring this champion. So yeah, lots to come, and I will see you soon as always. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.